Hello City Line viewers. I'm Katherine Oxley from Boot Paper Flowers. I designed this beautiful bomb peony to be a fun and easy way for you to DIY create paper flowers at home. You can display the flower alone or alongside fresh flowers and foliage to create stunning arrangements. All of the materials you'll need, the flower templates, and how to purchase Cardofini crepe paper for the project are all in the downloadable file. Ready to get started? I'll see you in the studio. You need a piece that is 12 inches wide. Next, we're gonna cut this piece in half because this piece will actually give you two flowers. Now that we have our piece, you'll notice that there's a grain to the paper. We always want this running vertically because when we stretch the paper, that's what's going to give the shape to our petals. So we're going to go ahead and cut the, the different pieces out for the flower. So the first one we're going to cut is going to be for that bomb peony center. And this piece is going to be four inches wide. Then we're going to need another four inch piece which is going to be for the petals. And this piece here you can set aside. That is waste. Okay, so now we have our peony bomb centerpiece. There's a lot of texture to this paper, so we're gonna stretch it out so that it becomes a little finer. So just grab both ends of the paper and we're gonna give it a stretch by tugging it like so. And what we wanna do is we wanna stretch it out to about 25 inches. So let's see how we're doing there. We're gonna do the same with this piece. Okay, so the piece that you have for the petals, we're just gonna cut off the end four inches and we're gonna use that little piece to cover our tissue center, which we'll get to in a moment. So you've got a tissue center piece for your petals and then the large piece for that big fluffy bomb. So we're going to take our bomb center piece and what we want to do is put a fold all the way down the middle. Once you've made that fold, flip it over and fold it again in the other direction. Then you're going to grab your clips, take both ends, fold it in half, and fold it in half again. And we're going to use our clips to hold that crepe paper in place while we make our cuts. So now we want to go ahead and cut the uh, folds that we've made when we folded the crepe paper. So you'll have a fold on this side and you want to cut it. Now don't cut it all the way down to the bottom leave about a quarter of an inch at the bottom. So all of your ends should be free. There shouldn't be any folds. Next, we're gonna make a series of slits all the way down the paper. And just cut a nice round edge around each of them. Then we're gonna flip it over and do the same on the other side of the petals. Once you finish that, we're going to go ahead and give the petals a little further shape by coming in on the edges and just cutting down slightly on an angle so that you're giving the petals a bit of a teardrop shape. The little pieces that are left hanging, just leave them on because peonies have all of those little pieces on the inside. Here's the fun part, we're going to do the twist. So we're gonna twist each of these sections one way and then the other way. We'll alternate each one. Now we're gonna take our clips off and we're gonna unfurl our piece. And this is why we wanted that crease well set in because now you're gonna open up the whole thing and you're gonna flip it around and fold it the other way. There is the center of your peony. To make the center of our flower, we're gonna take two pieces of tissue 
and just fold it over twice, like so. We're gonna add a bit of hot glue onto the end and glue that onto the top of our floral wire. Then we're gonna just start wrapping it, twisting the paper as we wrap a couple of times to give it to some volume. We're gonna do the same with the other piece. Now we remember we had that piece back from the beginning, that little four inch by four inch piece. We're gonna use this to cover the top of this so that we don't see the tissue if we um, look down into the center of the flower. Now we're gonna take our center and attach it to the stem. So just roll it a few times to get it started. We can then ease all of our center out and sort of fluff it outward to create bend this, that nice fluffy center. So now we're gonna work on the petals, taking the piece that you have left over for those, fold that in half, and just give that a cut down the center. This is gonna give you six petals and six petals. And I've provided you with two templates to use to give you a bit of uh, petal variation. So now to cup the petals, you're going to take it with your fingers on the bottom of the petal, slowly start to pull the paper apart from just the middle. Try not to go to the edges and not to the very top. And now we're going to attach them to the flower center. We're gonna do two rows of six right around the flower. So here's a good tip. Let's start off by putting a little glue on our petal. We'll attach the first one here. Just make sure that you're covering that band um, of the bottom of the flower center so that that's covered. Now we're gonna flip around and go directly opposite to that one and put another one on that side. That way we've marked the halfway point so that you now know how to space out the petals in between. So that's our first row. Now we're gonna go ahead and place the second row in between each of these petals. And this time, we're gonna bring the petals a little farther down um, so that they touch the stem. So now we're gonna work on the calyx and the leaves of the flower. So you'll have five pieces that you've cut out for the calyx. Make sure that you do stretch the crepe paper first and then use your template to cut it out. I'm just gonna cut it freehand here. And we'll set those aside. Now for the leaves, you'll have three pieces. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these out on a diagonal. Then we're gonna take each of the sides and we're going to flip them over like so, so that what we end up with is a grain pattern that goes out from the center that mimics a leaf. Now you're gonna take your fine wire and I'm just gonna cut it in half just so it's not quite as long and so that you'll have the three pieces you need for each of the leaves and this is what we're gonna create here. So we take both of our sides and we're gonna add a little bit of glue right down the um, side of the one leaf like this we're going to take our wire and put it into that glue line, being sure to leave a little bit of space at the top for when we cut out our leaf. Take the other side, place it on top, and press down. Once you've completed your three leaves, you can use your template to cut them. So once you have your three leaves ready, 
We're going to put them together so that we can then apply them to the stem. We're going to take our floral tape and you want to stretch the floral tape first to activate the glue. Place it at the base and then just with your fingers just start rolling it like that. And then start slowly pulling and wrapping it down all of those wires. Let's set that aside and apply our calyxes to the base of our flower. Now with that completed, it's time to wrap. So we'll take our floral tape again, stretch, attach to the base of the flower, hold it in place, attach the leaf. We're just going to give it a slight bend to help us. And then we can place it up close to the top of the flower so that it frames it nicely. I'd love to see the flowers you've created, so tag me on Instagram with hashtag StudioBook and visit me at bookpaperflowers.com for more crepe paper flower inspiration and tutorials. Thanks for watching.